There are two ways to play CT Pistol. The first is the generally standard and safe way to play a setup, and we'll go over that initially. First, try to find the longest range angles on the map. For Inferno, this is car to the bottom of banana, mid to the bottom of mid, apartments hallway, A site and moto to balcony, and arch side mid. Second, consider the pros and cons to each setup. For, car, for banana at car, the upside is that you can get full control of banana and rotate one off with such a long range spot. The con is that trying to get out there can be very dangerous, especially if they're rushing. Third, try to find spots that can either be played by two people at once, for example, playing one boosted on quad and one underneath, or you can have two to three people supporting the same area. For A, this can mean playing a passive setup with one graveyard, one site, and one moto, or it can mean playing one library, one site, one pit. For B, this can mean pushing out to car or playing a crossfire at new box and spools. Fourth, buy and utilize one or two kits. This means you either want a rotator to have a kit, which would be your arch side player, or you want one on each site, which would be your arch side player and a banana player. For a map like Dust 2, you could try just having your mid player with the kit. Fifth, utilizing the first part, try to consider which long range angles you could use in the beginning of the round and fall back from. For example, on this map you can peek down mid with one or two players from arch side. From that angle you can do a lot of damage with little chance of getting picked from long range glocks. Sixth, put this all together. This means that on A, you could play one to two players spotting mid initially, then falling back into a passive setup with all three members. And on Banana, you could play one pushed up to spot a rush from near the cart and fall back into a passive setup with his teammate. Now for the second strategy, the aggressive setup. First, consider the long range angles that are heavily contested by T sides. On Inferno, this means car to the bottom of Banana, top mid to bottom of mid, and window room to alt mid. Second, consider the current meta of the map. This means that terrorist teams most often hit either a truck apartment split or a banana hit. Third, put number one and number two together to find the area in which you can consider a coordinated aggressive setup. For this m map, this means that most aggressive setups are on banana for pistol rounds. Some teams also run an aggressive setup on mid and alt mid, but this is less common. Fourth, Consider how important this setup is and how much map control it nets you. For a mid control, you might be comfortable sending up to four players there. For a banana control, you probably don't want to send more than three. Fifth, threat analysis. What are your biggest dangers to your aggressive setup? For banana control, the most dangerous terrorist strat is a banana rush. Try to counter this by nade stacking at the beginning of the round, or you could also try countering it by throwing a molotov near the bottom of banana early. Sixth, the other site. Usually when you run a full control on one side of the map, you want to play a setup in which you can spot areas and fall back so your aggressive setup can gain information and play accordingly. This means if you peek down middle and see them rushing, you can have your banana setup push straight down banana rather than falling back and leaving one at car. Seventh, play the delay game. One side of the map is going to be going full aggressive, this, which means the other side of the map wants to be getting information and delaying for the rest of the team to fully capitalize on the position this setup puts you in. If you want to try to rush apartments, if they want to try to rush apartments but you delay them for 20 seconds, the other team has already lost the round. Important to note about the aggressive setup is that spawns matter. Playing the, this aggressive on banana can be made or lost by a few seconds. Consider sending your best spawns to banana rather than specifically naming any players. Lastly, I've put in a round that perfectly illustrates how a round should be played at the highest level. On this round, LDLC plays a semi-aggressive setup in order to get information, quickly rotate, then turtle. Straight off, they send three towards mid with two spotting down mid to take a long range engagement and Shoxy is heading into window to spot into alt middle, taking another long range engagement. If the other team is walking up alt, which they weren't, he would have a good long range angle on them. At the other side of the map, NBK is playing a spot fallback position at cart to allow his team to push down middle and quickly flank if Virtus Pro is rushing banana. Virtus Pro, noticing that they've been spotted by Shoxy, immediately hits up alt and mid, trying to get close to LDLC before they can get away. But unfortunately, they go to arch side with three instead of truck and get picked apart by several angles. 